you today. Welcome back to the channel Animal Fun Facts. Today we will talk about pufferfish. This isn't just a defense mechanism, it's also a way for them to look bigger and more impressive to potential mates. Imagine a chubby puppy inflating itself to twice its size. That's basically a puffer fish. Okay, not hands exactly, but their pectoral fins are shaped like little paddles that they use to waddle around the sea floor. It's like watching a baby penguin learning to walk, only underwater and infinitely cuter. The male torpedo pufferfish does a little jig on the sand, waving his fins and flashing his brightest colors. It's like a fishy version of a ballroom dance, and it's surprisingly graceful. Some pufferfish dads guard their eggs until they hatch, and even after that, they'll stick around to teach their little ones how to find food and avoid predators. Talk about a devoted dad. With their big, round eyes and perpetually surprised look, pufferfish seem to be constantly wondering what's going on in the world. It's like they're living in a perpetual state of innocent curiosity. Did you know that the Japanese word for pufferfish is fugu? And guess what? Fugu is a delicacy in Japan, even though it's incredibly poisonous. Only specially trained chefs are allowed to prepare it, and even then, there's always a risk of death. Talk about a hig steak as dinner. Puffer fish are excellent at blending into their surroundings. Their coloration and patterns help them camouflage with the ocean floor, making it harder for predators to spot them. The puffer fish's internal organs, kin, and ovaries often contain tetrodotoxin, which is more potent than cyanide. The toxin can paralyze muscles and lead to respiratory failure, causing death within hours. Puffer fish can be found in various marine environments, from tropical to temperate waters. They inhabit both saltwater and brackish water, and some species even venture into freshwater. Puffer fish come in various sizes, from small species measuring a few centimeters to larger ones that can grow over to feet in length. The moo puffer, for instance, is one of the largest freshwater puffer fish species. Some species of puffer fish engage in symbiotic relationships with other marine organisms. For example, certain species are known to cooperate with shrimp. The shrimp clear debris from the puffer fish's surroundings, while the puffer fish provides protection for the shrimp. Puffer fish can have relatively long lifespans, with some species living up to 10, 15 years in captivity. Puffer fish have a set of yak like teeth that continuously grow throughout their lips. Their teeth are adapted for cracking open the shells of crustaceans and mollusks, which form a significant part of their diet. Despite their ability to inflate, puffer fish are not strong swimmers. They typically move slowly and rely on their ability to puff up as a primary means of defense. So next time you see a puffer fish, remember, they're more than just cute balls with attitude. They're masters of defense, artistic lobo urds, and maybe even the key to future medical breakthroughs. They're the punk rockers of the ocean, living life on their own terms, one puff and wiggle at a time. See you on the next videos.